MagTech, measuring and recording real data around the world and beyond. This tutorial is designed to guide you through starting, stopping, and downloading from MagTech's 101, 110, and 1000 series data loggers. Let's get started. Open the MagTech Data Recorder software. From the Communications menu on the toolbar, choose Select COM port from the drop-down list, and then select USB 1 if you are using an IFC 200, or COM 1 if you are using an IFC 110. Now you need to choose the correct baud rate. This is determined by the logging device you have connected to your computer. The baud rate can be found on the label of the data logger. In this tutorial, we are using the Temp Retriever, which has a baud rate of 38,400, and we choose this from the drop-down list on the Communication menu. From the Device menu, select Identify Device and Read Status. The Device Status box will appear, confirming that you can communicate with the logger. Under the Device menu, click Start Device. A pop-up window will appear stating that starting the logger will clear all readings and reset the device. If this is your first time using the logger, or there are no readings stored on the device, select Yes. If this is not your first use, and the device has data stored on it that needs to be saved, click No, and then download and save the data before continuing. The Start Device window will open. The first section of the window is the Start Method, which offers users the option to start now, delay start, or manually start the logger. To begin logging immediately, choose Start Now. To start logging at a specific date and time, choose Delay Start. Then select the date and time the logger should begin recording. The Manual Start option applies to a logger with a push button start. If Manual Start is chosen, the logger will not begin recording until the Start button is pushed. Once the Manual Start has been activated, the device will not start recording until after the time delay. Users may set a time delay in either days or hours, minutes, and seconds. The next section of the Start Device window is Start Parameters. This is where the Device ID, Extended ID, Reading Rate, and Wraparound features can be applied. In the Device ID box, a six-character name can be entered to be associated with the logger. Some loggers have an option for an Extended ID, which serves the same purpose as the Device ID, only it allows for up to 16 characters. The next step is to select a Reading Rate. The reading rate is how often the logger will record data to memory. We have selected 10 seconds, so our logger will record one reading every 10 seconds. If wraparound is checked, once the memory is full, the device will continue to log by recording over the oldest data. Not all devices support this feature. If wraparound is not supported by the logger, or if it is left unchecked, the device will stop recording and go into a low power mode once the memory is full. The logger we are communicating with doesn't have this option available, so the wraparound field is grayed out. The log time section shows the number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds that the logger can be run at the specified reading rate before the memory is full. This time duration changes based on the reading rate. Now that you've picked your options, click on Start Device. The device is now scheduled to start logging. Place the logger in the monitoring area for the desired amount of time. When logging is complete, connect the data logger to an interface cable and connect the other end of the cable to a computer. Set up the device for communication by applying the same communication steps reviewed in the beginning of this tutorial. Select the COM port and baud rate, and then verify communications with the Identify Device and Read Status command. Under the Device menu, select Stop Device. A window will appear confirming the device has been stopped. The next step is to download the data. Under the Device menu, select Read Device Data. All the readings will then download into the MagTech software. The data can then be viewed in graph, tabular, and summary formats. For additional support, visit www.magtech.com or call 603-456-2011.